Hi there aspiring engineers, this is the fourth in a series of 16 and we're going to do just a little bit more than last time and we're going to look at working just a little bit smarter. Now look in the link below and download the 16 page PDF where you can get the drawings. It's great to print them off and have them right by your screen so that you can follow along and see the dimensions and the shapes that we're working on. Here we go, if you saw my tips and tricks video, you'd be aware that I've been talking about this S key and I've got my uh, create sketch button on the model shortcuts menu now. And so I'll click the, click the plane to make a start on that sketch. Now I'm gonna use the line tool and it's L for line, L. There it is. And so we're just going to draw a bit of a shape here that's roughly like the shape that we've got on our drawing here. But uh, let's just, move around. I'm going to do something on purpose here. I'm going to make that uh, finish line there at an angle. It should be perpendicular, but all is not lost. So uh, I'm going to get the select tool, select the, uh, that line that should be vertical, but it's actually at an angle. And then I'm going to look for the horizontal vertical constraint button in the constraints palette, and that makes it nice and vertical. The next thing I want to do is select the curve at the top and hold down the shift key so that I can select the second entity, that's the ver that vertical line that I just made vertical. And I also want to make this so that it's tangential to the curve. There's the tangent button down here on the bottom right. So you see they've got the little icon there that shows that the tangential constraint is on there. Now we've got some uh, dimensional constraints to do. The D key gets the dimension tool. And there it is, it appears on the cursor. I didn't have to go hunting through the menus to find that. So now I'm going to put a radius on this curve, and that is 30. Uh, now I'm going to put a length on the base of the part, and that's 150. Uh, the height of that feature on the part down there is 20. And the distance from the center of the curve to the base of the part is 40. We've got it pretty much in shape now. What I want to do is uh, go back to the select tool by hitting the S key and choosing the select key that I, the select tool that I've put there in the sketch shortcuts menu. And then uh, I'm going to select the point of origin of the curve and I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the point of origin of the document and choose the coincident constraint. And you see that it jumps right on there. Nice. So there's our sketch. Uh, I'm going to put the fillets on later, I'm going to put the hole in the sketch later and I've explained to you why I'm doing that and that is because I want to keep these sketches nice and simple. So uh, on the S key I've got uh, this uh, little button here, stop sketch. So check my tips and tricks video to find out how you can do the same. Let's stop the sketch. Now it's time to do a, an extrude. Here's the extrude button and uh, I'm going to down the middle mouse button and get a roughly isometric view so that I can see what's going on. I want to select the profile and just get it started by grabbing hold of that arrow, the little blue arrow, and you notice on the drawing that it's supposed to be 100 millimeters deep, and there we have it. So we've got a couple of fillets to put on here, and uh, on the modify toolbar, it's pretty high up on the menu there. I'll click on the fillet tool, and select that one, which I can't see, but I can still get it. Hold down the shift, oh, actually I don't have to hold down the shift key to get the second fillet. Give it the radius of the fillet, which is four, typically. TYP is uh, an abbreviation meaning typical, meaning more than one instance. I've given it the, uh, the four, press enter, and the fillet is applied. Now we want to do another sketch and a, another feature, the, uh, the hole through that curved part of the the, uh, the shape. So I'm going to use the S key to get the start, the create sketch button, nice and conveniently. I'm going to click on the front of the part there, which turns to face us. I'm going to use the uh, the uh, circle tool, and this time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut C for circle, and there it is. That's the center of the, uh, the document. I'll uh, place that circle, hit the D key to get the dimension tool, 
replace the diameter dimension and it should be 30. So we've got that, uh, that done. Now I'm going to use the S key to go to stop sketch and click on the extrude button and this time I'm going to um, click on the, the sketch that we've just created on the face of that part. I can grab hold of that blue arrow and we want that going back into the part and we want this to be a cut feature and so in operation there we're going to select cut not join intersect or new body but cut and we're going to use uh, through all for the extent then we click on uh, OK and our part is finished hope you like that click subscribe like it and uh, keep an eye out for the next one in fact subscribe in order to see the next one when it comes out see you next time